Chris here with 129 Recording, and in this video I'm going to show you how to bounce a mix down in Pro Tools in under three minutes. Alright, so you bounce a track down whenever your mix is finished or you need to share a demo of your project. Make sure that your counter is set to minutes seconds. This is important because Pro Tools doesn't automatically know which audio clips we want bounced, and we can use the counter to see the length of our bounce. In this example, I have radio ad that I need to turn into an MP3. I need to highlight a selection on the timeline showing Pro Tools that I need to start bouncing here and end here. I could use the selector tool to click and drag from the beginning to the end of the mix, or in this example, I can just use the grabber tool to select the longest track. Often if I'm bouncing a song, I sometimes add a little extra bit of silence at the end just so that the space in between tracks on a playlist sounds natural. But since this is a radio ad, I need to stop at precisely 30 seconds. And I know that this bounce is going to be exactly 30 seconds long by looking at the length section in the counter. Now click File, Bounce to Disk. When this bounce window pops up, the first thing I always do is click on Choose at this directory pop-up so I know where the mix is going. By default, Pro Tools would create a Bounce Files folder within the session that you're working on. This might be fine, but for this example, I'm just going to bounce to the desktop. The important thing here is that you know where your audio file is being created. You shouldn't need to worry about the bounce source. File type, obviously if this is an important mix that I'd want to put on a CD or a streaming service, then I would pick a lossless format like WAV, but I need to email this ad, so I'm going to pick MP3. Make sure that the file format is interleaved, and don't forget to name the file. If I hit bounce now, then Pro Tools will play a mix and re-record what we hear as a new stereo audio file. And that would take as long as the length of your song. A cool feature in modern version of Pro Tools is that you can do what's called an offline bounce, then your mix will bounce super fast, like so. And there you have it. Thanks for watching.